the best. Cheese is for those who love life, where everything falls into place and melts away our cares. Clover, for the love of cheese. Made with love by Clover. As the festive season approaches, you'll be needing some fabulous light meal ideas for entertaining. Now, our clover feta, salmon and red pepper spears are the perfect accompaniment to any sundowner's occasion or even a light meal. So SMS the keyword clover to 33650. SMSs cost 1 rand 50 and for SMSs do not apply. Again, girl, you've given us the highlight reel, but now we're getting into the thick of it. So what do we need for this recipe? So you need your peppers, you need asparagus. You need to have your water boiling. So what we'll do is that we'll blanch our asparagus, right? Okay. Now that means that we rapidly cook them mm. and uh, for about 15 seconds and then when you take them out you put them in the in the in the ice, ice water. water. Now the reason we do this is so that we keep the uh, the, um, the brightness of that color. Mm. And while you do that, I'm going to be chopping my red peppers in the meantime. Okay, and that's of course just to make that red pepper sauce. Yes. Nice. Okay. So this recipe is pretty quick, pretty easy and something that any and yes. everyone can try at home. Just okay. one thing to remember though is for people to remove the membrane because it becomes very, very bitter and you don't want that. Oh, so that white bit in the yes. red pepper yeah. or in any pepper basically, it's quite nice to take it off when you're making yeah. a, a, a sauce so that that bitterness doesn't penetrate away, the yeah. taste of your sauce. Nice, okay. So and I'm so, counting here. I think I'm pretty much on 10 seconds. <laughs> and so while you do that, I'm going to place these on a baking tray, skin up. Right, okay. and we're going to bake these. We'll just add some. We'll just drizzle some some olive oil there. Okay. And we'll add some seasoning. Nice. And that's of course just to add more flavor levels yes. and layers yes. in our sauce. And some paprika as well for that kick. Nice. I know you're gonna like this, Palisa. I definitely do. Like it already, <laughs> it's coming together perfectly. And something I like because I love snacking every yeah. now and then, and this is such a wholesome yeah. snack yeah. and something nice to try almost any and everywhere. Okay, so, so now I think my asparagus. Yeah. This is yeah. ready and I know that this is key for so many viewers at home yes. some people overcook their veggies when honestly veggies mm. should be enjoyed al dente so you're not soggy bit, you're not soggy not overcooked yeah. we still need the crunch and that color to come through yeah. okay. so then I will place these in the oven um, just make sure that your oven is on high and the skin must actually become black like it's almost burnt oh right? okay yes okay and when we are done with them they'll come out looking like this this is exactly what they'll come out looking nice. like. Okay. So what we do is that you just take a butter knife mm. and you just scrape the skin off. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you want it without the skin. Without you want that the actual, skin, yes. um, the mass in the middle. Yes. Okay. And, and then, then what we do is that we will place this then um, in our blender. Yes. Together with a bit of olive oil. More olive oil, of yes, course. A bit of olive oil. One trick that I've learned that if you want to blend anything, the more liquids, the, the better. better. Yes. Mm, Otherwise, okay. it's not going to move or go anywhere. Okay. So we 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 will we'll blend that, and when we are done, we'll okay. just move over to this side. Okay. When we are done, we now come to to decorating. Oh, nice. Okay. So here's where our asparagus get to shine. Yes. So I just want our asparagus just to soak off a little yes. bit. Get all that excess water yeah, off the off. asparagus. And then this and is my salmon part. Yeah. Mm. So then we take, we have here our, our salmon ribbons, right? Mm. You can have one. Okay. You can have one. And, and then we'll we just wrap these basically around. Oh, around yeah. the asparagus. Oh, this is so nice for something to try when you're entertaining mm. at home. Of course, um, if you are that much of a seafood lover, this is mm. something definitely for you to try. And of course, you know, a meal is not done without cheese. For me, I mean, I'm a cheese lover and yes. I've made, I haven't been shy about that. So of course, <laughs> sprinkling that feta on top, I've got some with salmon, some Look without you, salmon. Girl. Look at you. Looking really, really good. So and you'll just course. drizzle some feta cheese on top. Okay. And then you can add our sauce then. Mm. Just drizzle that on top. The sauce looks so good. Okay. It looks so yummy looking really, really good. I mean, you can also use this sauce as a dip if you want. Definitely. I know that definitely. this is something, um, it's a very flexible meal, something that you can try with basically mm, anything. Anything. Now remember to, thank you so much, girl. We're gonna yeah, come sure. through the, for that smoothie later, so do not move yeah, a muscle. Definitely. Remember to SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this recipe sent to your device. But just in case you've missed any of the steps, here's a quick recap.
made with love by Clover. Clover cheese is for those who love life, where everything falls into place and melts away our cares. Clover, for the love of cheese. Made with love by Clover.